If you're like me and you just bought a new Xbox Series X and you might be thinking that you want to hand down your Xbox One to either your child or to a friend or someone, but you want to make sure that you guys can play together before you even do that. Well, in this video, I'm going to answer that question coming up. Hi everybody, my name is Wayne and thank you for being here. Now, while you may have been lucky to get yourself an Xbox Series X here on launch day, um, or maybe you're looking to get one here in the near future, you also want to make sure that when you do, you know, is it the right time to do now? Because you still want to be able to play with your friends or with your family members who might still be stuck on the Xbox One. Now, some of you might be remembering back to when the Xbox One was first released, and if you bought an Xbox One on the release day, on launch day, uh, you wouldn't be able to play with your friends who were still uh, gaming on the Xbox 360. For whatever reason, you know, they just didn't have a chance or didn't want to uh, upgrade immediately to the Xbox One. And that really kind of caused a split in the uh, in the player base and you know in your friends list. I remember personally back when the Xbox One came out and the PlayStation 5 came out at the same time, uh, I had a lot of friends who were on the Xbox 360. We were doing a lot of gaming together and that for two reasons we had a lot of splits. One was the fact that PS5 took over a lot of people, um, but as well people who did stay on the Xbox One such as myself and uh, other folks who stayed on the Xbox 360 we couldn't play together so we had to wait in order to game together again because they were playing on the xbox 360 and it wasn't cross-generational uh, to play together so that begs the question whether that's still the case when it comes to the xbox series x and xbox one player and as you can see here microsoft has said that first party titles will support cross-generational gameplay now keep in mind that specifically says first party. So anything that's Microsoft, like your Halo games, things like that, uh, if it's a first party title, Microsoft is pretty much guaranteed that those will be cross-generational. So you will be able to play uh, with gamers that are on the Xbox Series X and the Xbox One. However, keep in mind that they also do further state that third party developers, it's really up to the third party developer and whether they want to allow that capability. So there may be some instances where you won't be able to. Now, I do find that a little odd because Microsoft is pretty much guaranteeing, you know, a ton, if not almost all of their games to be backwards compatible. So I guess the, the trick there would be is if it's a backwards compatible game on the Xbox Series X, then obviously you can play it on the Series X, but could you technically play cross-generational to the same game on Xbox One? And, you know, based on the, the original question, uh, I think it's still probably gonna be up in the air based on the statement here. It does look like Microsoft is saying that, you know, it still technically is up to the third-party developer to make that happen. Okay, and so now just to kind of wrap all of that together again, uh, Microsoft has stated that backwards compatibility will be supported, but this also confirms that cross-generational should be supported at least for the majority of the games. And so games like uh, Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War, you should be able to play those cross-generational with your family members or other friends who are still on the Xbox One. So if you want to go ahead and gift that Xbox One to a family member or a friend, or maybe you have some friends who are still on the Xbox One at this point, um, then rest easy knowing you should be able to cross-generational gameplay with them. Now, you can take your generosity even a step further by setting up GameShare, which will give them things like Xbox Live and any of the digital games uh, that you've purchased. And if you're not really familiar with how to do that, then make sure you check out this video right here where I show you how to set up GameShare and everything you need to know about it. All right, gamers, happy gaming, and I will see you in the next one. I'm gonna go play on the Xbox Series X now. All right, guys, see you later.